We're joined today by Eric Brynjolfsson, Stanford professor and director of the Digital Economy Lab, also author of the book, The Second Machine Age. Eric, thanks for joining us today. It's great to be here. Looking forward to our conversation. We see so many disruptive technologies that are changing the economy every day around us. What is the importance of bringing out AI in the broader economy today? AI is what I call a general purpose technology, like the steam engine or electricity before it. Each of these technologies drives waves or cascades of complementary innovations that restructure the way business is run. Ultimately, that drives productivity. When you look at the set of tasks that are very suitable for machine learning, just the very best ones, not the average ones, you get about $700 billion worth of value that is potentially affected. Technology is powerful, but it also requires a lot of transformation of business processes, new products and services, new skills, and those all take time. This is one of the great paradoxes of our current economy. We have these amazing technologies and more and more of them coming online, especially in the past decade, and yet productivity hasn't really grown much. But we're very far from what technologists call artificial general intelligence. They can just do everything that humans can do. What we do have is very powerful narrow intelligence. They can do particular tasks like diagnose cancer or understand and translate languages extremely well. I don't expect wholesale job loss. Some people talk about mass unemployment. That's not what's going on. And companies that try to just automate a whole big categories of their workforce probably aren't going to do very well. Instead, what they need to do is think about which tasks within each occupation could be done by machines and which tasks are better done by humans, and then combine a human and machine hybrid or centaur system that solves the problem better than the humans or the machines alone could. I would not say that machine learning is going to replace workers or managers anytime soon, but managers who know how to use machine learning are going to replace managers who don't.